When Sweden joined NATO, it did far more than bolster the alliance's northern flank. It brought a silent, potent weapon beneath the waves. The A-26 Blecking Stealth Submarine. In the tense Baltic theater, where Russian naval activity rises and NATO's presence is ever more essential, the A-26 emerges as a cold, unseen guardian, capable of unsettling even the most formidable Russian Navy assets. The Baltic echoes with unease. Russia has escalated submarine patrols, corvette sorties, and seabed operations, particularly near Sweden's approaches and the strategic island of Gotland. NATO allies, including Poland, Germany, Latvia, and Lithuania, urgently seek greater deterrence. Enter the A-26, a game-changer born of necessity, cutting-edge design, and Sweden's newfound NATO resolve. Conceived by Saab Kakums under order from the Swedish Defense Material Administration, in 2015, the A-26 project signifies Sweden's leap to the next generation of undersea warfare. Two submarines, Blicking and Skåne, are under construction, intended to replace aging Gotland-class vessels. Originally slated for delivery between 2022 and 2025, their entrance into service has slipped to around 2030. The reasons are complex. Shifts in defense priorities, production adjustments, and an expansion of capabilities have all pushed the timeline. In parallel, Saab's Karlskrona shipyard has undergone a profound revitalization, rebuilding production processes, tooling, infrastructure, and workforce skills to restore Sweden's sovereign submarine building competence and secure its place among the few nations able to design and construct advanced submarines from scratch. The A-26 measures approximately 65 to 66 meters in length, with a beam near 6 to 6.75 meters, a draft around 6 meters, and surfaced submerged displacements between 1,800 and 1,950 tons. The Oceanic ER variant pushes toward 3,000 tons for long-range operations. Its propulsion marries diesel-electric drive with the renowned Stirling Air Independent Propulsion System, granting submerged endurance of up to 18 days or more, an ability that allows it to remain hidden well beyond the reach of conventional diesel-electric patrol cycles. A minimal core crew of around 26 sailors operates the vessel, expandable to about 35 when special operations teams or mission specialists are embarked. Armament consists of four 533mm torpedo tubes, capable of launching heavyweight torpedoes, mines, and in some export configurations, cruise missiles. At the heart of its uniqueness lies the so-called Ghost Mode, a comprehensive stealth architecture that marries hydrodynamically optimized hull shaping with sound-absorbing materials, acoustic damping plates, and machinery isolation systems. These measures suppress mechanical and hydrodynamic noise to levels so low that even modern sonar arrays struggle to detect the boat until it is dangerously close. It is the embodiment of Sweden's doctrine for operating in the noisy, shallow, and cluttered waters of the Baltic, where stealth is survival. Equally remarkable is the multi-mission portal, a large, 6-meter-long, 1.5-meter diameter module integrated into the bow. This feature allows the A-26 to act as a mothership for special operations forces, deploying frogmen, remotely operated vehicles, autonomous underwater vehicles, or even mini-submersibles. It enables missions far beyond traditional anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare. Seabed infrastructure surveillance, cable protection or disruption, reconnaissance of hostile ports, and the planning of sensors or mines in denied areas. Its combat system has also been designed with modern maritime warfare in mind. While Sweden's domestic configuration focuses on torpedoes and mines, the A-26 platform is engineered to integrate the RBS-15 Mark IV cruise missile. With a range of more than 300 kilometers, the missile enables the submarine to strike targets at sea or deep inland. The prospect of a stealthy Swedish boat launching a precision strike on an adversary's coastal installation changes the deterrence equation in the Baltic, giving NATO a new tool for both defense and offensive power projection. 
These combined attributes grant the A-26 an asymmetric warfare profile that makes it far more than a patrol submarine. It can infiltrate denied waters, conduct high-value reconnaissance, sabotage key maritime or coastal infrastructure, and deliver precision attacks, all without detection. In an environment as small and heavily monitored as the Baltic Sea, the ability to operate unseen is as decisive as raw firepower. In NATO's Baltic strategy, the A-26's strategic role is clear. It is a guardian of the Gotland Line, a naval choke point that controls access between the Central and Southern Baltic. Russian vessels, whether Starogushchi-class corvettes or Kilo-class submarines, must now contend with the possibility of an A-26 waiting silently in their path. The threat of detection and destruction is enough to force more cautious and predictable movement, buying NATO valuable reaction time in a crisis. Beyond national defense, the A-26 strengthens collective security. Its stealth and surveillance capabilities can support allied fleets in anti-submarine warfare, share undersea intelligence, and coordinate with Poland, Germany, Latvia, and Lithuania in joint operations. From monitoring submarine movements near the Danish Straits to tracking Russian activity off Kaliningrad, the A-26's ability to act as NATO's underwater eye adds depth to the Alliance's defensive posture. When measured against its most likely adversaries, the A-26 shows distinct advantages. Russia's Kilo-class submarines, though still quiet by diesel-electric standards, lack the A-26's advanced AIP system, cannot match its extended submerged endurance, and in most configurations do not possess the same precision land attack capability. Against NATO's own German Type 212 and 214 classes, the A-26 is on par in terms of stealth and propulsion efficiency, but the multi-mission portal gives it a unique capability for deploying special operations forces and unmanned vehicles, an innovation not found in its peers. The future of the A-26 is intertwined with Sweden's evolving role in NATO. By the time Blekinge and Skåne enter service, projected around 2030, the Baltic security environment may have changed dramatically, but the need for undersea dominance will remain constant. The A-26's modular design ensures it can adapt to new technologies, weapons, and mission profiles over its decades-long service life. Export potential also looms. The Baltic states, facing the same Russian naval pressure as Sweden, may one day look to the A-26 for their own deterrence needs. Even non-Baltic allies, such as Australia, with its history of working with Swedish submarine designs, could see the A-26's modular, stealthy profile as a cost-effective alternative to larger nuclear-powered boats. In the struggle beneath the Baltic waves, noise is the enemy. Power is expressed in the ability to remain undetected, to force the opponent to operate in uncertainty and fear. The A-26 does not need to be loud to dominate. Its strength lies in being a presence the adversary cannot confirm, yet cannot ignore. In this way, every quiet patrol becomes a strategic act, every submerged hour a reminder that in the Baltic, Sweden now holds an invisible advantage. For those who follow the evolution of maritime strategy, the A-26 Blecken is more than a submarine. It is a signal. A signal that Sweden, once neutral and now a NATO member, will play an active and sophisticated role in defending Northern Europe's seas. A signal that Russia's unchallenged maneuvers in the Baltic are over. And a signal that in the new era of alliance warfare, silence can be the most powerful weapon of all. If you value in-depth analysis of strategic military developments, subscribe for more insights into the technologies shaping the future of global security.